Hey y'all, Ramblin' Chris here. And today, I'm painting the wheels on my motorcycle. You can see the rear here. You got these cast parts inside, and you can't polish those up without a lot of effort. This rear tire needs a little changing over here. And the right side is obviously the same. And we're gonna paint the pulley here. Now if we go around to the front, you can see the wheel is the same. Everything is nice and polished up, but you have these cast parts and there's nothing you can do with them. So we're gonna get the wheels off, get them cleaned up, and get them painted. Now we're gonna get this rim painted up here. And one of the first things we're gonna to need to do, we're gonna to need to go and clean all this metal. <laughs> now these edges that we're gonna polish, we're gonna polish those. Now the harder part is all this cast stuff that's actually getting a nice paint job. So we're gonna get something like a wire brush. You're just going to have to go and clean those up. You can also grab something like a scouring pad. That should work well as well. Now I want to show you what we achieved in this short period of time. With just a little brushing with our scouring pads. You can see that has a pretty nice finish there. I mean, it's not shiny, but that's not what we're going for right now. Whereas over here, look how dirty that is. We're going to get all this cast metal to look just like this. We're going to polish up this rim here. And then on here, on the spokes, this part's also going to be polished. Then these cast parts are eventually going to be painted. Another quick tip. Sometimes when you're cleaning the wheel, all you really need to do is just soak it down real good with the degreaser and then you can just take a brush real nice and light and it just cleans up pretty well. And once you go and hose this off, it's pretty clean. So from there, once we get all this cleaned up, which you will likely also have to still do a little bit with the scouring pad, Maybe some heavy grit sandpaper. You know, something just to clean all this crap out. Then we're going to go we'll polish up this rim. Alright, now this is the result of just degreasing. And that's pretty clean. We're pretty much ready that we can go ahead and just start polishing this rim up. Now, if you watched my aluminum polishing video, you already know exactly how to do this. You may have actually already done it. I waited to do this wheel until it came off because it gives me easier access. But if you didn't watch that video, I'll link it down in the description. I'll put it up here in the corner for you. There we go. She's all nice and polished up. All ready to paint. Last thing to do is just dry her off. Just grab your air compressor with an air hose. Now before we start painting, we're gonna, since we're not doing this one solid color, they're gonna wanna tape off to make sure that you don't paint those areas. So on these outside art places here, easiest way is just to use some masking tape. Now for those areas that are a bit harder to mask off, a little trick, it's just some petroleum jelly. All you do is take a brush to those areas and you apply a moderately thin layer over just those areas. Do not get any in the areas that you want to actually paint. So what will happen here is when you paint, the paint will hit these areas, but then you'll be able to just wipe it right off. When you paint, make sure you read the directions on your can. This one specifically says to shake for one minute, and then shake 
for 10 seconds after each minute of use with uh, 10 minutes between each coat. Using nice even strokes, we're gonna start putting the first light coat of paint on. Gonna start from outside the wheel and end from outside the wheel. Never stop within the area you're painting. Okay, and there's the first coat. We're gonna let that dry for 10 minutes and then we're gonna put on our second coat. While we wait for our paint to dry, we're gonna start to clean up our pulley. We're gonna do it the same way as we did last time. We're gonna take some degreaser. Just gonna let it soak on there for a moment. You're gonna just take your brush and see what all we can get off here. Now that's not too bad. We'll take our scouring pad and we'll see if we can't make it a little bit better. Looks like that's about what it looks like. So we're just gonna polish up this rim and then we're gonna paint. We're now ready for our second coat. Another light coat. Now we're moving on to the third coat. This may be the last one. Just look at this. Look how easily this just wipes off. Paint comes up perfectly. Okay, now we got that pulley all nice and shiny. Now we're gonna paint it just the same as we're doing the wheels. Now look how that turned out. This pulley turned out really nice. Everything wiped off beautifully. This wheel also turned out pretty good. Got some spots where there clearly wasn't any jelly. And on this side, it's all about the same, they actually this one I actually completely missed altogether. But that's something we can clean up. <clears throat> it's not going to be that big of a deal. Now it's dry enough we can handle it now. However, I would not go and try and clean any of this up now. Let the paint get a nice full set in first. Obviously we're also going to get this front end painted up. So we're going to just gonna go ahead and take off this axle. And then we're gonna get ready to paint it up. With this one already being polished, it's gonna make it a lot easier. I got polished up these spokes still. But overall, this will be a lot quicker process. Tires staying on, so I'm gonna show you a little bit different method. That way we don't get paint on the tires. Okay, you can see we got this one masked off the same as the other one. Only difference being we have a tire here now. Now we're gonna make sure we protect this tire. Otherwise, you're gonna get paint on there and it will look bad. And also you potentially get paint on the tread here, which is gonna reduce your grip. So you can try and take tape and tape the whole way around this, or you can get something like note cards. And all you do with the note cards is you just slide them in between the tire and the rim the whole way around. And that'll protect the tire the whole way through this. And then you can just paint without any fear of getting paint on the tires. You can see with these note cards, the tire is all protected during that paint. Now this, I just finished applying the third and last coat on this side. Just gotta let it set up for a few minutes. Then I'm gonna take off all the masking, wipe off where we put the petroleum jelly, then let her set up. Then we're gonna flip her over, do the other side. All right, both sides are all done. Just gonna let this sit here for a little bit longer. Now I'm gonna get everything polished. Now it's been about 24 hours, and according to the can on this particular paint, 
there's a 24 hour cure time. So it's been long enough, we're able to handle this paint. It says on there it's something like a half hour for it to be dry to the touch. And it does actually say it is a one hour handling. It's 24 hours for the fully set. And I wanted to make sure it's set completely before I started polishing this up. You can see on this side, I have this side all polished back up. All the paint that was on there before, you can see that is gone. Now what I did for that is what you do, you're going to polish just like when you polish your aluminum. The difference is you're starting with a little bit better surface underneath. So you're going to start with a lot lighter grit sandpaper. And by lighter, that means higher number. So for this rim here, I started all that out. I tried first with 5,000 and 3,000. They were a little bit too light, wasn't working quite fast enough. So I went down to 1,500 and got all that done. For the spokes though, where there ended up being some actual paint on those, what I did with those was I used some 400 grit to start that and then worked my way back up just like polishing. And then I finally finished this off with the polish. So you can see that wheel looks pretty good. A lot better than with that bland cast there. This nice tube tone here. And there we go, look at that. Looks a whole lot nicer. Got a nice black just on the inlays there. Same come around here on the pulley side. That really looks nice. Now with that black in there, it's just all set off really nicely here. Same you come on up front. So once again, nice black. I mean, it's nothing fancy, nothing flashy. It's just enough to make her look a lot nicer. Real nice change overall. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. To keep seeing more videos like this. This has been Ramblin' Chris, and I'll see y'all later.